This boy needs some milk. That's not milk. That's empty. No, it's got milk in it. Well, it, well, it had milk in it. Now it doesn't have anything mm -hmm. in it. Well, welcome back, you guys. Um, in the last episode, we got. Why do I still have these boots on? <laughs> I look like a, just like a like a dweeb, <laughs> just, just gliding around. around. It's like you got heelys. You're just healing everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm soaping. I got soap boots. <laughs> so check it out, guys. We, got these new things called soap boots, and uh, that means I'm cooler than you. When we enter this room, it said something about like swimming or diving for something. Uh, seeing this makes me want to play the, the Song of Time. Isn't that what I do when I see this symbol? I think that's what I, that's what I would do. Would you Would you play the Song of Time or is it Zelda song? Right I'd play the song a of down, time. right a down. I'm, I'm gonna try it out. Maybe right I stand here. A down, right, right a down, a down. Pe -pe -pe. Yeah, baby. I'm a genius. Good thing I'm still wearing my blue tunic, too. Good thing I got this ocarina of time so convenient. Wrong boots. Dude, where does he keep all these boots? I swear to God, they're all in his butt. I just don't get it. Everything's in his butt. He puts it in the old prison pocket. He's got, he's got a shield, he's got a sword, he's got boots, he's got tunics. Oh my god. He's got sticks. He's got grapple. Ah, uh, stupid clam! I hate these, dude! Immediately I feel like I'm back at the water temple. I hate these enemies so much! Good times. Turn around. Open! Open your mouth! <laughs> no. Open your mouth! Uh-uh. <laughs> Open! <laughs> Your mouth! Why don't you make ah? Idiot! God, <laughs> stupid clam! Just was wasting like, my nah. damn time. <laughs> nah, -uh. I don't want it. My mouth is nah. shut. I'm I a clam. Do like it. I don't. I don't have to listen to you. <laughs> I'm a clam. Open. I'm a clam with spikes. I graduated from the Academy of Spiked Clams. I am above you. What school did you graduate from, Link? Oop. Up, up. What if clams actually like, like had such a thing? Like they all competed for for what clam college they would get into. Like a clam version of Harvard. Yeah, like clam Harvard and clam Princeton. It'd be like Clarvard and Clemson. Clarvard. Clarvard had a had a big issue with uh, making it harder for Asian clams to get in. <laughs> Is that a real thing? Because they're Did Harvard than do that? The... I think it's a big thing. Yeah, Harvard or oh, Yale wow. or Yale or something, where the entrance exams were tougher for like Asian students what? than than other than other minorities. Oh my god, or just that... other races. That's so bad. That makes me want to Yale. That makes me want to Yale at the top of my lungs. <laughs> Yale. Okay, is, is that not something that? Uh... <laughs> is this not a is good it... opportunity to make a joke due to the That's subject? A new TikTok. <laughs> It just makes me want to yell at the top of my lungs. <laughs> when Asians are misrepresented, it makes me want to yell. <laughs> Come on, you stupid people. Okay, here we go. I think I know what I got to do. I Harvard yelled in a long time. Oh, that was yeah. so bad. You know what? I, I Harvard a lot of grudge towards people who yell. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Sweet Boys. This has been another great episode. And you know what? High that quality means. jokes. Oh boy. Well, that wasn't too bad. Give me my reward. Is it going to be a key? I bet it's going to be a key. No, it's a key. This whole, have a you noticed the, uh, the theme here? This whole dungeon is about like completing trials and getting keys. And then there's that one room in the center. I That's think you were pretty talking. much every temple. Well, yeah, no, but like this one is all about nothing but keys. It's all just collecting keys. I don't know how to get. I don't Your know if there's boots. a way to get up there. I, like, there's gotta oh, be, over right? Oh, there. Let me look at my inventory, see what I have at my disposal. What happened when you pressed that switch? I think you already did that, and I just don't remember. Yeah. It made the fire go away over there, so I could collect yeah. the uh, silver rupee. Yeah, I don't think that there's a way for me to get up there. There's got to be something above it where you use, like, your wing boots on and 
float over. Is there a platform up no. top? No. No, not that I see. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I'm gonna give up. <laughs> I didn't mean to like give up on life. I just meant to like give up on the challenge. <laughs> Apparently, I gave this up on is life. Too good. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? Nice. Yeah, that's what we went to. That's what we meant to do. Good job. Okay. You get a gold star, Justin. Oh, nice. Put it right next to all those demerits. <laughs> Did you ever go to a school where demerits were a thing? Uh, no. Do you, do I you, do remember stars at Arthur C. Butler. Well, I oh, say nice. That. So you yeah, they, that. <laughs> yeah, Ar Arthur C. Butler, that elementary school you went to off of um, off of Calvine <laughs> Road, uh, where. <laughs> um oh sweet we got rupees that we can't even hold yes awesome, awesome. I love this game. now i have no more rupees just the same amount nice no more um, extra rupees i mean yeah did you you saw school of rock right with jack black hell yeah i really love that scene when he's uh he looks at the board he's like what what, what is this and and the kids are like oh like it's our behavior chart you know when we do something good we get one of these and he goes what are all these black dots? Demerits. <laughs> He's like, what kind of sick school is this? <laughs> he gets hella mad. <laughs> He's like, what the hell's going on here? That's the disgusting. A classic. It is. He's like, you got... kids don't know ACDC? Yeah. He sends them home with homework <laughs> to listen to like ACDC and shit. Kids, it's so fun. It's like funny. It's from it's from the two thousands, and somehow that generation of kids haven't listened to that. It's not that far back. It's kind of more understandable now, because it's been like fifty years since it. ACTC. Uh huh. Like back then, it was only like thirty years, so it's not that crazy. Yeah, I, I love when the, he's like, "What? What are your, your guys' favorite uh, favorite musicians?" And then it's like, Puff Daddy. He's like, "What?" <laughs> Liza <laughs> Minnelli. What? <laughs> it's so good. And then the, that legendary scene where uh where he, he puts his, his uh his fingers on that kid's hand and then like makes it so that his fingers are like kicking their feet pretty much. Let's rock yeah. let's rock today. <laughs> you know what I'm uh -huh. talking about? Uh-huh. Now you do it. Let's rock, let's rock today. And then um, at the end of the movie, the whole the whole group gets together and they play an awesome live show that is obviously not live because it sounds very produced. But yeah. they it's win okay, the they're day. Kids. They're Jack kids, dude. <laughs> Jack Black makes it. So, In this wow. movie, Jack Black is successful at something. Jack Black is a down-on-the-dumps rock star, but he's not really a rock star at all. But he becomes a teacher to pay the bills. And instead, he realizes... The value of teaching. How can you kick me out of what is mine? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I might have to give up on this dungeon. Uh, the only way for me to advance is if I, uh, is if I go that way and I figure out how to pull the thing out. That there's a big block that I couldn't pull out because I don't have the right equipment. I think. I think I have to give up. I think we might actually need to press on with the game itself. Unfortunately, this is a lesson, everybody. Sometimes you just give up. Sometimes it's okay to give up, especially if your dreams are unachievable. <laughs> <laughs> um, randomly talking about Jack Black, it, it leads me to the thought of a, of a kind of lesser known movie. Have you ever seen the movie called Envy with Jack Black? No. No. It's like a movie. I can't remember the other. I think uh, maybe it's like, um, oh my God. Now I can't think of the guy's name. Uh, ben Stiller, I think. It might be Ben Stiller and Jack Black. I could be mixing up the actor though, but it's definitely Jack Black, and it's a uh, it's two friends like two and they're neighbors, and uh, they keep like trying to invent stuff together, but it never works out. And then finally, uh, Jack Black's character is like, "Hey, I have this great idea for an invention," and then I think it's Ben Stiller, like I said, or I, I'm gonna be pissed if it's not him. Is I'll it, look it up. Maybe I'll put his, it in the video. Maybe it's Jack Black's brother, Mike White. No. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Um, but he's like, well, you go in on this invention with me. I just need some money. And then his friend's like, no, I'm sick of this. Your inventions never work out. I'm, d I'm done. I don't want any part of it. And then, of course, the one time he backs out, the invention was a complete success. 
and yeah. he blows up and becomes extremely rich and successful. And like that's the whole theme of the movie is he lives right across the street from this friend that is like incredibly <laughs> rich and successful and then he's not like he's just struggling financially and like barely making by with his family and he doesn't and help that's his why friends. the movie's called well i mean like kind of, yeah but like he 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 does but it's like he also the the other guy ben stiller or whoever the hell it is the other actor he's got a lot of pride <laughs> you know so like he he wants to be able to take care of things himself so he doesn't take a oh. lot of handouts because of it and it's because he's like secretly super envious of his friend. And yeah. That's why the movie's called Envy. Got it. Yeah. Too prideful to take a handout. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's a comedy. Hey. Uh. Yeah. It's a comedy. I, I. I haven't seen it in a long time, so I can't totally remember if it's like really good and worth watching. But I remember liking it. Hey, hey. newcomer. Oh, that's it. Hey. <laughs> I, I was hoping for a little bit more dialogue than that. <laughs> It's nice. So sometimes you just need to be be greeted. Sometimes and it makes your day a little bit better. Yeah, totally. Oh, Another... oh, you're back! Oh, hello! You're in two places at once. <laughs> hey, Rocky, are you going into the desert? I'll open this gate for you, boy. I... <laughs> you can't cross the desert unless you pass the two trial. The first trial of the River of Sand. You can't walk across this river. Of the cross it. Follow the flags we placed there. The second trial is the Phantom Guide. <gasps> Those without eyes that can see the truth will only find themselves returning here. You are going anyway, aren't you? I won't stop you. Go ahead. Oh my god, I wonder how we're gonna see the truth. Do we have some kind of item with the word truth in it? God, if only we had something that you could see the truth. Something yeah. we have. It was like some kind of like lens, I think. And it was so truthful. I can't, I don't know. I can't remember. If only we had some kind of lens we could look through that showed us the truth. Mm. But I, I don't, we don't have anything like that. How come when I look through the lens of truth, all I see is your butt? Hey, big guy, I saw you climbing down that ladder. So I jumped down here to say hi to you again. Yeah, I just really want to make sure I'm like readily available every time you go anywhere. <laughs> Haunted wasteland. If you chase a mirage, the desert will swallow you. Only one path is true. Are there okay. giant worms in here? I hope so. I hope we get sucked into a massive wormhole. Oh boy. The haunted wasteland. I'm scared. Spooky, man. I don't like it out here. Uh. Oh, there's so much sand blowing in my face. Oh. 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 Whoa, you <laughs> died. Okay, that is not what we do. That was fast sand right there. Yeah, that was really, really quick. Use your uh, wing boots. Maybe I can grapple there. Oh, yeah. Totally. Whoops. Nice. Oh, holy shit. Oh, okay, I guess we're good. Yeah, okay. So, just follow the flags, maybe? What does the sign say? The sign's deceitful. Don't listen to it. All those reckless enough to venture into the desert, please drop by our shop. That's a carpet, carpet merchant. merchant. No. No, that's BS. Don't fall. Nah, it's a trick. Dude. No it's way. a trick. No way. Look at him. No you way think that guy's, a trick. You think that guy's going to help you? Can I reach him? I have never seen somebody more <laughs> Why, more dude? It's totally in my life. It's totally conspicuous. What do you mean? Hello. This guy's sus. Welcome. I am selling stuff strange and rare from all over the world to everybody. Today's special is a dangerous running object. Terrifying. I won't tell you what it is until I see the money. How about 200 rupees? Should I do it? Yes. I got exactly 200. I'm We're gonna here do now. It. Oh, dude. Are you kidding me? You already have already, one of those. I have like a full inventory of these. Thank you very much. What I'm selling is bum chew. The mark that will lead you to the spirit temple is the flag on the left outside the shop. Be seeing you. Okay, at least he actually gave us relevant information. I guess. Yeah, I thought he was going to kill us. He just murders us and throws us into the sand pit. He <laughs> said so the flag on the left. Okay, I guess I just keep following the flags. You can barely see anything out here. 
Are there more flags to the left, or are they just con just these? Um, I think I just need to follow all of the visible flags that I can see. So I get to one, and then... Okay. All right, you and know, then to your right. Oh. oh. What do we have here? Why, what on earth do we have here? It's a mysterious underground oh, entrance. Oh, I'm scared, dude. I don't know if I should jump down. Well, you came all this way. You can't just pussy out now. Okay, hold on, though. Let me let me see what's going on on top of this. This could be important slash relevant. One with the Eye of Truth shall be guided to the Spirit Temple by an inviting ghost. Okay, let me do that first. Who knows? Whoop. Uh, the Lens, lens of, tr of Truth. I'll be your guide on your way, but coming back, I won't play. I'll show you the only way to go, so follow me. Hey, don't be slow. Nice. I like your rhymes. You have a lot of ability. You, you've got a lot of natural talent. You're like Eminem. Hi, I'm Eminem. You're more like <laughs> Reese's Pieces. <laughs> For Reese's Pieces. That's Eminem's biggest competitor. A new up-and-coming rapper. Reese's, the Reese's Pieces. Pops rapper? <laughs> yeah. Reese's Puff! Reese's Puff! Puff. Reese's Puffs! That song goes hard. That song goes so freaking hard, dude. Goes hard in the paint. I never wanted to eat Reese's Puffs more in my life. Goes hard in the paint. Goes hard in the tank, dude. I was ready to take a spoonful of Reese's Puffs right to my butt, dude. I was about to butt chug those Reese's Puffs, baby. Reese's Puffs. Reese's butt. Reese's Puffs. Butt chug. Butt chug. <laughs> oh, what were you going to say? I just never that, that I've never had a commercial get me so hyped for cereal in my life when I was Oh kid. yeah. In the I was Reese's like, Puffs. I want Reese's Puffs now. No! I have this uncontrollable urge to eat Reese's Puffs cereal. <laughs> I need them now. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. Hey. That, I remember being a kid in elementary school. Glasses. And it was mm -hmm. a uh it was a uh like a Remember the basketball team, the the Kings, their their emblem. Um, the yeah, S. It was like a crown. Oh, oh. No, it was like a that S. Oh, like the Sacramento symbol. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> I remember it was like a legit skill, and I was so jealous of the kids who could make them. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Drawn the, yeah, them the in, in class. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. I could totally do that, dude. <laughs> I could I, never I had to do it. Teach me, but I could totally do it. Yeah, it's like I the know. whole concept is you draw three lines and then you just like connect them in specific parts. Yeah, my classmates were assholes and they were like, ha, you don't know it? Well, that means yeah. I have something over you, so I'm not going to teach you it. Nice. So pretty much like my classmates were the Final Fantasy XIV community and yours were the World of Warcraft community. <laughs> yeah. Totally. <laughs> but isn't it the opposite? Because then you say Final Fantasy didn't like WoW coming over? Well, I mean, some people were like that, but but Final Fantasy XIV knowingly has a much more friendly, inviting community than World of Warcraft. Well, World of, L L World of Warcraft doesn't, yeah. Yeah, like Final Fantasy XIV, you'll enter into a dungeon you've never done before, and people will like willingly be able to teach you the ways <laughs> and be like, "Oh, I can see that you're new." So these are the mechanics. Like these are what you have to do. But if in World of Warcraft, on the other hand, if you join a dungeon and you don't know what to do, they're like, "Oh my God, I always get paired with." Idiots! <laughs> yeah, and they, they just log out. Like mid dungeon, they just log out and forfeit uh, all the rewards because they're just toxic as hell. Yes, yeah, like they'd rather League. leave than teach you anything. Yeah. Oh my god, my teammates so trash. Teammates. I always get paired with trash. I always have bad teammates. That's why I'm losing because my teammates, not me. My yeah, teammates. Not me. I'm Team good. A. My teammates suck. <laughs> well, anyway, some video games are very toxic communities, and it's unfortunate. And you know what that means. I think I do. I think it means it's the end of the episode. It is the end of the episode. I am proud to say that I believe the next episode that we do, um, I think we're going to reach a brand new dungeon slash temple. So I hope you're excited. And we're going to have sex. We're going to have lots of sex. Specifically, that of the butt variety, hopefully. No, not that. Oh man. Well, guys, as always, I hope you've been enjoying the content. If you are enjoying it, leaving a like and a comment is a great way to show it, and we appreciate it very much. Other than that, we will see you in the next episode. Peace and love. Love.
Okay, bye. Yeah.